Former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, J. Jayalitha, passed away on 5th of December 2016. And until this period, this location in Poes Garden called as Veda Nilayam, her residence, was the Fort Knox of Tamil Nadu. It was handled and controlled like the White House. That was the kind of security at this place. And currently, after a so much political battle and legal battle, this has become the property of Deepa and Deepak, the niece and nephew of Jayalalitha. In fact, even to cross this gate, it had to take commendable action and request. And after only several amount of permission, you were allowed to cross this gate and enter to this place. And there you see, that is Veda Nilayam Jayalalitha's residence. This was Fort Knox of Tamil Nadu for decades. And currently, after she has passed away, after a political battle, after several legal battles, this has become the property of Deepa and Deepak. I feel very emotional above all because I'm here after a very long time, first thing. And secondly, is because I've been in the house only when my aunt used to be there. So this is the first time I'm coming here when she's not there. And she's no more that makes us feel very bad at the moment. But we feel good and we feel very happy for uh, getting the house back. Not as it was. From what I can see and from my impression, maybe... I agree and I've been repeatedly saying I'm, I haven't been in this house for the last 10 or 12 years. But previously when I used to come and visit my aunt, it was in a definitely better state and in a very good, uh, I mean, uh, she used to have a very nicely decors done and all that. So all that is missing. It has changed a lot. It, it has changed tremendously beyond my identification. I'm not able to identify the rooms because they've all been changed. Uh, all the, I mean, the dining room used to be tremendous, it used to be huge. But now I find all the rooms smaller, there's no space, it is not what it was, all the interiors have been changed. And uh, that's what I think, there's a lot of change. Must be very it's not in good shape also. It's in a very bad state, it hasn't been maintained. I mean, for a person who has lived in this house until four years back, I find this house in a very bad state. Interestingly, this place was supposed to be converted into a memorial for Jayalalitha and that is where the Madras High Court interfered and questioned what is the need for several well, memorials for one person? Are we still living in the period of the pharaohs? That was a question put forward and later the court said that the property should be handed over to the blood relatives and there you see that is J. Jayalalitha, the former chief minister of Tamil Nadu and was the supremo of AIADMK. After her death, the party plunged into darkness completely and there were so many episodes of chaos and even currently, the party is having two leaders, that is Hedapadi K. Paniswami and O. Paniswamy, who still claim that this has to be converted into a memorial. They call this that this could become a temple for AIADMK uh, caterers to come over and actually pay their respects. Interestingly, as the Shikala was kept out of this house, what she did was that the property opposite to this building she has acquired and a special residence is being constructed over there. So this house is still seems to be the center for so much political drama in the state of Tamil Nadu. And here we are showing you the Jayadalta's Beda Nilayam at Poes Garden, a place of much more importance even after her death and is playing a very important role, it seems, in Tamil Nadu politics. With Vivian Zivian, Pramod Madhu, for India Today.